Do you know who I am? Of course you do. I'm Bully Ray. You're watching Ambi. Tune in or I'll put your ass through a table. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi and I'm absolutely stoked to be here with Bully Ray. Hello. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you doing? Good. We are here in Toronto for Ring of Honor War of the Worlds. You had an amazing match tonight, so how are you feeling? Yeah, it is cool to be in Toronto for my first time with Ring of Honor. I've performed in this town many, many times with obviously the WWE, um, WrestleMania here with the WWE. The last time I was in Toronto was in this very building, the Ted Reeve Arena for House of Hardcore. Me and my brother Devon versus the Young Bucks and we tore this place down. But it was really, really cool to be here tonight for the first time with Ring of Honor. I've been looking forward to the entire War of the Worlds tour and what better place and kick it off than Toronto. Well, something I noticed is a lot of people have been tweeting you, what can we expect from your shows? And you just said, expect to be entertained. So you like keeping people on their toes a little bit. It's not even keeping people on their toes. That's what I do. I go out there and I entertain you. Whether I'm beating the piss out of somebody, you're getting entertained. Whether I'm putting somebody through a table, you're getting entertained. Whether I'm wrestling somebody, you're getting entertained. Whether I'm strutting around with Dalton Castle and acting like a giant peacock, you're getting entertained. You're entertained right now because you're smiling from ear to ear. So no matter what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, I'm entertaining. I have to say another fun part that I enjoyed, I'm not sure if you liked this so much, but you did ask for a table, you turned around, and then you kind of got blindsided. Yeah, but that did you, did you hear part. the people go crazy? I was entertained. They loved it. You were entertained, and that's all that matters. So that's twice in one night you were entertained. Maybe you'll get me a third time. Maybe. Depends. If I'm in the mood. You're clearly entertaining people a ton, not just tonight, but for many years. Who's a wrestler you can watch and you know you're going to always be entertained when you're watching them? There's, there's entirely too many to, to mention. There are a lot of great wrestlers slash entertainers out there today. I mean, in this locker room alone, the Ring of Honor locker room, everybody is. I mean, you can't even pick one. I mean... Um, I mean, Daniels, Kazarian, Jay Lethal is like the master of all trades. He can do anything. Um, Cole, Page. I mean, there's so many great wrestlers, performers, athletes in this locker room. Um, I could probably sit back and watch a Ring of Honor show every single day and never get tired of it. I'm so happy that you're having an amazing time with Ring of Honor. Does it feel great to be bully once again? Be so menacing? No. Well, I'm, I'm menacing no matter what I do. So... It does feel good to be Bully Ray again because I believe it's what the fans want to see. People have been telling me since I created Bully Ray, like, I don't know, six years ago, that, you know, this is the side of me that they like the best. Going back to WWE with Devon and having our final run there as the Dudleys was a lot of fun. It was great. We went all over the world. Um, we had a blast. But... I know from the fans' perspective, it's not exactly what they wanted. Um, so I'm happy to be able to come out here with Ring of Honor and be the version of myself that I enjoy the most and that the fans enjoy the most. Did it make sense for you then to sign with Ring of Honor right away? Because they did contact you about a day after you left WWE. Oh, you read the dirt sheets. Look at you. You read the dirt sheets. Yes, they did get I think in contact. I just, uh, cheek to cheek, just entertained right there. One point. No. No. Nope, because I, I lost it as quick as I got it. That's true. So it, it, you were able to keep it on me, then you might have gotten a point. It was a negative. But you, you, you're trying. Keep working at it, kid. Thank no, you. yeah, Ring of Honor did contact me uh, and Devon uh, a day after our WWE contracts expired, and they were, you know, they wanted me and Devon to come in and, and work here, and we were very, very interested. Devon has a, a larger family. Devon wanted to kind of take a step back for a little while, so I said, bro, you do what you got to do. I'm going to keep doing what I do, and, and that was it. I always knew that Ring of Honor and Bully Ray would be a perfect fit. Um, I've enjoyed Ring of Honor since the day it was created. Ring of Honor was created because of the void that was left when ECW finally went out of business. So I've always appreciated this company because of the passion of the fans and the passion of the locker room. These guys go out there every single night. They try to outdo each other. They try to steal the show. And when you got everybody trying to steal the show, that's only beneficial for the company, the wrestling fans, everybody. So yeah, this is a great fit. The company's been around for about 15 years. And so it took 15 years to actually finally, I guess, get here and be a part of it. So working with all of these fresh people must be very refreshing for you. The, the best part about it is having fresh personalities to work with, new talent, younger talent. Um, it forces me to work harder. Um, I want to go out there and have the best matches I possibly can with these guys. There's no way in hell I can 
keep up with these guys and do all the crazy stuff that they do, but there are certain aspects that I bring to the table that they can't do. So when you have a mix of great young guys and a knowledgeable veteran and you put that all together, you're going to get some very entertaining magic going on out there. And so far, so good. They're enjoying it as well because the Briscoes were in here earlier and they were talking about how they completely freaked out when they found out they were going to start working with you. I was really excited. When I first came into Ring of Honor after my first night in New York City, they said to me, what do you want to do while you're here? I said, no matter what it is, I want to be in the ring with the Briscoes because I like the Briscoes. The Briscoes are the tag team in Ring of Honor. When you think of Ring of Honor tag teams, they're the best team that's ever been here. As a tag team guy who wants to see tag team wrestling succeed and carry on and go on and on, I wanted to be involved with the guys that are the best here. You've been posting some photographs of some fairly tasty looking meals. So tell me about how this diet's going for you. It's not a diet. It's just okay. s, s p meals, um, sensible portions meals, is just a great meal plan. And it makes things really, really easy. Um, for people that might want to lose weight, I mean, they have so many success stories. They have people that have lost over 100 pounds just yeah. eating their food. So whether you want to diet, whether you just want to eat healthy, or whether you just want to not cook, I mean, you don't look like you know how to cook, so it might be good for you to just Ouch. pop one in the microwave, hit two minutes, you can hit two minutes, right? You're good, you can count to two, right? I believe Boom, so. 2.00, 0, hit the start button. When it's done, it'll go ding, you know it's over, you put it in the plate, you're done. Next Easy question. That. Next question, when you were about nine or 10, your grandmother gave you some money as a birthday gift, and you decided to go out and buy Kiss Alive too. When I was nine or 10, my grandmother gave me money to buy Kiss Alive 2. I'm trying to see if you got the story straight. You got the grandma part straight. You got the 9 or 10 straight. You got the Kiss Alive 2 straight. I'm not sure where I got the money from, though. I, where did you read that one? I believe it was a birthday gift from her. Where did you, but see, you read that somewhere. It's not like I, I sat down over coffee and told you, hey, listen, my grandmother, blah, blah, blah. Hey, it's but up to you to correct me. But, but where did you read it? <laughs> where was your credible source? Like, you're a reporter. You need a credible source. Actually, this day and age, you don't need a credible source. <laughs> so you just throw the crap out there and see if it sticks. But yes, my first album was Kiss Alive 2. And Kiss is one of the greatest rock and roll bands ever. You've been, ever been to a Kiss show? It's one of my dreams. Too. I you gotta go. To. Gotta go to a Kiss show. It's the most entertaining show you will ever see in your life. How many times have you seen them? I, I don't even know. It's wow. Fifty. Oh, that's um, seriously. Yeah. Wow, not even exaggerating. No, nope, not in, even a little bit. Wow. Is fifty times. Yeah. I probably seen Kiss and Motley Crue probably fifty times each. That's amazing. Well, I know how much you absolutely love Motley Crue. When I got to actually interview Nikki Six, I geeked out because I'm a big fan myself. You know so many facts about them. You though. actually kind of look like Nikki's wife. Do I? A little bit, yeah. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Should I, yeah. Should I take it as a compliment? Yeah, no, yeah. I, she's, she's actually pretty like the most normal girl I've yeah, ever seen her I with, know. you know? So, yeah, no, Six is, how was he? Was he in a good mood or a bad mood? Was he Great. a stuck-up douche? One of the best interviews That's I've good. Ever, That's good. of a stuck-up douche. Because every once in a while, he can come off like that. Luckily, but I can we all? <laughs> if you were kind of to spit out a crew fact right now, what comes to mind? Pookies. Pookies. Pookie sandwich shop. I guarantee you no other Motley Crew fan on the face of the earth, maybe one or two, know what Pookie's sandwich shop is. Please tell me. You should have known it. You know all my info from the dirt sheets. Well, how come you don't have all your info from reading like Kerrang and Metal Sludge <laughs> and all those sheets? You know, Pookie Sandwich Shop is the very first place that Motley ever played together. Wow. Yep. And if any of them get to see this, they're going to be like, oh, my God, how does he know Pookie's? I will send it their way. There you go. Who knows Pookie who Sandwich Shop. Yep. Even if I have to send it to them 900 times, maybe they'll see it once. 900 times. Yeah, you tweeted me a lot. <laughs> hey, you tweeted me a lot. We're here, buddy. You almost got blocked. We're here, though. We're here. You got your way. You had to... You had to you had to go through some red tape. You had to fight a couple of battles. Had to pester a little yep, bit, but, but yeah, you got your interview. Hey, I got a dream interview right there. There you go. Let's draft things up. Anything you want to leave with all of your fans who will no. be viewing? No. Nothing. Zero. All right. Well, they, they, they know what they're getting with me. They're they're laughing their balls off right now just watching this interaction. <laughs> what am I going to tell them to en enough. entertain them more? I mean, they probably want to see you go through a table. Uh oh. Are there any tables in this room? There's plenty of tables in this room. They're all plastic, though. You probably just bounce off of them. <laughs> anyway, I'm leaving now. This interview's over. Thank you. Pleasure was all yours. Thank you so much.